Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a retro review looking at Everybody's Tennis for the PS4. Everybody's Tennis is a sports game developed by Clap Hands. The game was originally released for the PS2 in 2006. For anyone familiar with the Everybody's Golf series, this is very similar. It's a very simple, fun and easy to pick up and play game for solo or multiple players. So the game is broken down into exhibition matches, challenge mode or training. Challenge mode is a series of matches where you unlock new costumes, new courts and new characters to use. Training is what it is, you have a series of tests to complete to show you understand the fundamentals and the controls. And exhibition mode is where you can just arrange a one-off match of your chosen specification against an AI or another player. The game is very easy to pick up. Within 30 minutes you'll have mastered the controls and you'll be flying through the challenge mode opponents. You've got three buttons to use. X is like a hard straight shot, circle is a slice and triangle is a lob. So it's a very streamlined control system and it works well. Serving can be a little hit and miss but once you get the timing down it's pretty satisfying. The game is really designed so that anybody can pick it up and play it and have a decent chance of winning a match. Obviously the more you play it, the better you'll be. Like, it's a game you can play with your friends, you can play with your kids, your nephews, your nieces, or even your grandma. Bearing in mind this game is over 10 years old, it still looks fine. They've done some remastering on the visuals, but not a lot. The screen is 4x3 in format, so you can't make it a widescreen game, but it's not really a problem once you get used to it, to be honest. It's very colorful and bold and brash. All the players are really cool and cartoony, very sort of a caricature and like their voices and the actions they do when they win or lose points is really sort of over the top and silly, but quite amusing. The music is typical computer game music, nothing revolutionary here. Okay, so what's good and what's bad about everybody's tennis? What's good? It's a really fun game to play with friends. The controls are simple and easy to master. It's a very bright, colorful and cheerful game. It's also a great couch co-op game. What's bad? The player roster is a little light. There aren't any character creation options, only different outfits for the existing characters. And the challenge mode is a little bit short. Okay, so what is the verdict? Everybody's tennis is a fun and enjoyable experience to play. It may not have a great deal of content within the game, but the gameplay itself makes up for that. It's great fun playing against friends in singles or doubles matches. But as a single player, after a week, you'll probably get a little bit bored of it. But the game is perfect for the occasional co-op session. So if you like multiplayer games that have co-op, couch co-op in particular, this is a really good game to pick up and just have in your collection. So my score for everybody's tennis is seven out of 10. It's good fun while it lasts, but the real longevity will come if you have a friend to play it with. Okay, thank you for watching. That was my review for Everybody's Tennis. It's an old game, but it's still a good game. If you enjoy the review, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer, signing off. Thank you.